We turn now to the wildfires burning acres in multiple states out west tonight. This is happening in California, Idaho, Oregon, and Nevada. Zareen Shaw is in L.A. for us tonight. Multiple fires are threatening thousands of homes in California. The National Guard coming to help. It's almost like the world's ending. <laughs> it looks like that. It smells like that. California Governor Gavin Newsom declaring a state of emergency as the line fire in San Bernardino threatens 3,600 structures and has exploded to over 40 square miles in less than a week, with 5% containment and 2,000 firefighters helping fight the flames. This fire continuing to burn here in San Bernardino County. More than 12,000 people have already been ordered to flee. Thousands more have been told to be ready as this fire continues to burn out of control. Residents from several different areas are under mandatory evacuation orders, and it's possible those orders could expand to more regions as the fire continues to grow. The biggest concern for today remains the heat. It's still hot. Yes, it did get a little cooler, but it's still hot. There's a lot of work to be done. Uh, so fire crews just have to, you know, stay hydrated and, and be ready. And nearby, the airport fire in Orange County also exploded after heavy equipment sparked the flames. It inched close to these radio and cell towers on top of Mount Santiago. Over 1,400 homes have been evacuated there, and two school districts were forced to shut down. That fire still only 0% contained. There have also been a lot of power outages in the area, and it's been taking a very long time for some families to get that power back. There's also poor air quality, but the good news is that even though it's been very hot, it's expected to cool down later this week. Zorin Shah, ABC News Los Angeles.